During this record-setting one-year mission, the station crew conducted almost 400 experiments to not only advance NASA's mission, but to benefit all of humanity, too. They conducted a number of studies to advance NASA's journey to Mars, including research into how the human body adjusts to weightlessness, isolation, radiation, and the stress of long-duration spaceflight. One of the most engaging parts of the mission allowed the crew to take advantage of the space station's unique vantage point. With an orbit that covers more than 90% of our population, they were able to monitor and capture amazing images of Earth. While Scott Kelly flew the mission into space, his identical twin brother and former NASA astronaut Mark Kelly participated in a twin study here on Earth to help scientists compare the effects of space on the body and mind all the way down to the cellular level. And Mark talked about his role in the mission. Well, since before he launched, I've been providing data in a number of different ways to NASA for this study. And there's uh, 10 universities that are doing a bunch of science experiments on both Scott and I, uh, because we're twins. Uh, you know, those universities consist of Cornell and Harvard Medical School, Johns Hopkins, University of Pennsylvania, and others. And as the mission reached an end, Mark knew his brother was preparing to come home. Well, I can kind of tell he's getting ready uh, to come home because I get less phone calls. <laughs> you know, over the course of the year, they kind of, you know, started the peak at a while. And, you know, after you're there for about eight or nine months, you know, he was, seems to be seemed to be reaching out a lot uh, and not so much in the last few days. So I think he's scrambling uh, to get everything done. Uh, that he needs to do for this one-year mission and, uh, you know, get his stuff packed and, uh, you know, get everything over to the Soyuz. After the Soyuz capsule left the ISS, the ride back to Earth was successful. The crew landed safely, and after a little recuperation time, Scott commented about his historic mission and the year in space. The year's a long time, you know. I, uh, you know, I felt like I'd been up there my whole life you know, after about the first six months, which is like the normal increment. The normal increment is about six months, and that's a long time. So a year is really, really long. But uh, I'm definitely encouraged on our ability to go even longer. I mean, I kind of, you know, even though I look forward to coming home and there's things that I miss, I felt like if, if it was for the right reason, I clearly could have stayed, you know, however long it took. With the end of this mission, Scott Kelly has spent 520 days in space, more than any other U.S. astronaut. And now back home, the twin study will continue to help us prepare for our first trip to Mars. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Monica Cryan.